Hi everybody, my name is Christina Pistone. So I'm a research scientist at the Bay Area Environmental Research Institute. And so I work at NASA Ames Research Center in the San Francisco Bay Area. And today we're gonna talk a little bit about aerosols, how they affect clouds, why do we care about them, and what do they do? What are aerosols? Aerosol is a term that scientists use to mean basically any small particle or liquid droplet which is suspended in the atmosphere. So a lot of people hear the word aerosols and they think hairspray cans. That's an example of an aerosol. When you spray the spray can, it's putting little droplets into the atmosphere, but that's only one type of aerosol. And in earth science, we study a lot of different types of aerosols. So not all aerosols are the same. Some aerosols have a cooling effect. So some of them look white and they reflect sunlight back to space. Some of them are darker and they absorb sunlight, um, which heats the atmosphere. And what I do in my work is I study mostly these darker aerosols. So they absorb sunlight, they can heat the atmosphere, and this can change how clouds form under these conditions. So aerosols are very important for clouds. In order for a cloud to form, you can't just have water vapor in the atmosphere suddenly condensed to form a cloud, clouds being liquid droplets. The water vapor in the atmosphere needs to have some small sort of seed to condense around, uh, which forms the cloud droplets. And that's what aerosols do. So aerosols act as these little cloud seeds, which allow clouds to form. And when we put more aerosols into the atmosphere or different types of aerosols into the atmosphere, it can change this process. And the aerosols that we as humans put into the sky can change the properties of clouds which form. So NASA wants to know more about air quality because NASA studies all of the planets and Earth is one of those planets. And it's one of the planets that we have the most data on because we are continuously looking at it. Um, so NASA has a bunch of satellites which are looking down at the Earth and measure cloud properties and aerosol properties. It's very important to be able to understand clouds and aerosols together because often looking from satellites, it's difficult to tell whether we're looking at clouds or whether we're looking at aerosols. And also sometimes from the ground, it's difficult to tell what we're seeing. So when we're talking about sky color or visibility, if the sky outside looks kind of gray and hazy, a lot of times that means that it's overcast, that we have clouds outside but it can also mean that there's a lot of aerosol in some conditions. So in certain places in the world, you will see very bad air quality, looks like a gray haze that kind of looks like clouds, but it's not really clouds. Uh, if you go and you dust your bookshelf, all of those particles which have landed on your books and have made this sort of dust layer, those were all aerosols at one point. They came in on the air and they settled down onto your stuff where you dust them off. We saw something like that when we were in the field during Oracles, which was a NASA campaign. Uh, we were based in an airport which is very near to the desert. And so we saw a lot of aerosol come in as we were preparing for flights. Uh, the wind would bring in desert dust and it would settle onto our instruments and it was pretty pretty dramatic to see sort of little piles of dust. Uh, at home you might not see that unless you do live in the desert, but that's a, a really dramatic way to see how aerosols can settle out. Another way aerosols is removed is usually from rain Rain is a very efficient remover of aerosols from the atmosphere. So when the clouds come through, uh, as I mentioned before, clouds can use aerosols to become the little seeds, the cloud condensation nuclei for the cloud droplets. And they can also 
take those into the rain droplets. And as rain falls out of the cloud and onto the ground, it also can pull all of these aerosol particles out as well.